so in today's video i'm going to be walking you through how you can easily set up a stripe account that you can use to receive payment from your customer so if you are into e-commerce if you are into dropshipping or if you are into freelancing you can easily set up your stripe account and use it as a means of receiving payment from your customer so for example looking at my website here if my customer land on my website when they click on checkout they can easily check out because i've been able to integrate and um, stripe to my website so they can easily make payment in usd and i can receive the money in real time because everything is linked together on my website so as you can see here they can easily have their card number their card details and pay for the product i'm selling on my website so for us to basically set up a stripe account there are two things we're going to be needing we need to have our business incorporated in the us we also need to have a business address in the us all right so for us to be able to do this easily and successfully i'm going to be recommending a registered agent to easily set it up for us all right so the name of this registered agent is not west registered agent so we're going to be using their service to create our business in the us then also use them for our us address all right so unlike other registered agents you have to get a us address or rent a us address that you're going to be using for your business but when it comes to not West registered agent now you can get your business address with them for free all you have to pay for is the business formation then also pay for the filing fee of the business in the states where you're going to be registering the business all right so to get started the first thing i want us to do now is to go to the description of the video i'm going to add a link to northwest at the edition of the video so when you get to the edition of the video click on the link when you click on the link it's going to bring you to a discounted page like this so which is going to cost you 39 dollar for the business formation if you are to go over to the website it's going to cost you way more than this all right but if you click at the link at the edition of the video all you have to pay for the business formation is just 39 dollar so to get started all you have to do is just come over here then click on this green button that says let's get you started so once you click on it you going to see the other formation so as you can see here we have llc we have corporation we have non-profit corporation so for the sake of the stripe account we want to create the kind of business we're going to be forming in the us is llc so just leave it at llc and the next thing you have to do is to select the state at which you're going to be forming the business in the us now the state you're going to be choosing is also very important because some states charge higher state filing fee and also charge a um, state annual tax fee so but for the sake of this video we're going to be going with new mexico now when i did my research i found out that uh, new mexico only charge 50 dollars for state filing fee then charge zero dollar for state annual tax fee so the total amount you're going to be paying is going to be um, the 39 dollar which is for the business formation and um, 50 dollar for state filing fee so the annual tax fee is going to be zero dollar you don't have to pay any annual tax because we're going to be going with new mexico so what you want to do is you want to come over here then select on new mexico so i'm going to scroll down here then search for new mexico so this is new mexico so the next thing you want to do now is come over here then click on continue so once you click on continue it's going to ask you what is the name of the business you want to register in the us all right so the name of the business you register in the us is equally what you're going to be using to set up your stripe account so here what you want to do is enter the name of the business you want to set up so i'm quickly going to copy the name of my business then paste it here all right so i've um, entered the name of my business so the next thing you want to do here is um, write the purpose of your business so the kind of business you're going to be using this business you want to create to run so it says here the purpose of the organization but not limited to that is you could also use it to receive payment from other stuff but just give a summary of what the business is all about all right so i've just entered um, the business purpose so the next thing you want to do now is to scroll down so when you scroll down you're going to see here it says physical address you want on the record with the state so the option here is that you can use um, the business address with the registered agent we're going to be using which is northwest registered agent all right so they're going to give you access to their own us address that you can use to form your business so it says our registered agent address your mailing address or specified address so if you want to use your own address you can just choose this but there's no point in doing this because you can easily use their own register address for free so if you scroll down again it's going to ask you mailing address you want on a record with the state so you can also use them as well so all you have to do is just leave it at our registered 
um, agent address then after that all you simply need to do is just come over here then click on continue so the next step here is about the management of the company you want to form so it says um, company management so is it going to be a member manage or is it going to be a manager manage so based on the kind of business you want to do so if it's going to be a manager manage all you simply need to do, just click on manager manage and if it's going to be a member manage just let member manage but um, mostly it's going to be a member manage all right so the next thing you want to do is um, you want to select the list of um, the people you want to include in the member of the business so mostly it's usually going to be around one because this is your business but if you want it to be one all you simply need to do is just come over here then click on um, the total number of um, the members that you want to include in the business so what you want to do is you want to come over here then enter their name here so you're going to enter the first name here and you're also going to enter the last name here. all right so let me quickly enter the first name and the last name so we can proceed all right so i've just entered the name of the member i want to include in the business so once you've done that for your hold all you simply need to do is just come over here then click on continue all right so i'm going to click on continue so the next thing you want to do here is enter the email address you will be using to create an account with northwest um, register agent so here i'm going to come over here then paste my email address then also create uh, the account password so i'll be able to use it to log in to my northwest account so i've entered my email address so the next thing i want to do is um, set up my password so i'm going to generate a password for this all right so i've just generated a password so the next thing i'm going to do is um, click on continue so i'm going to click on continue so we can proceed so the next thing i'm going to do now is the contact details for the account i'm creating so i'm going to enter um, the name and the last name the mailing address zip code city then select the state and select the country so depending on the country you are creating this account from then enter the country now this doesn't mean the country you're going to be forming the business now this is for your own personal details now this is not for the um, business you are creating in the us all right so this is the account you are creating with northwest and not the business formation and not for the business formation you are trying to create in the us all right so here you're going to select your country then here enter your name your phone number then click on continue so we can proceed so let me quickly enter mine so we can proceed all right so i've just entered my contact details all right so i've, I've entered my country my phone number the state and province and my mailing address so the next thing i'm going to do now is come over here then click on continue so i'm going to click on continue so we can proceed so this is the most important aspect because this is where we're actually going to be getting the ei hand that we need to create our stripe account all right so as you can see the optional item here they have the include tax id s corporation election with irs premium method in virtual office and the likes all right so if you have your own personal us phone number all right so just make sure you unselect this all right because you choosing this is going to cost you extra money uh, which is going to be on the monthly basis all right so just unselect this so the only thing we're going to be selecting here is the tax id all right so the tax id is the ei hand we're going to be using to create our stripe account so here they're going to ask you a couple of questions so it says um have a social security number that is if you have a social security number just um select this but if you don't have a social security number all you have to do is click on do not have a social security number so for those that are based in the us and us citizen they are mostly going to have a social security number so this is this option is going to be for us citizen but for those of us that are not us citizen and that are not in the us now the option we're going to be selecting is do not have a social security number and this service is going to cost us $200 so once you've chosen you are not um, you do not have a social security number the next thing you want to do now is click on continue so you can proceed to make payments all right so here what you want to do is enter your card name then your card number the expiring date and continue so you can actually make payment for this so here i'm going to enter my card details and my card number so we can quickly proceed all right so i've entered my card details so the next thing i'm going to do is click on done so they can process the payment and create my account with northwest 
all right so as you can see the payment has just went through and my account has been created with northwest registered agent so this is just additional upsell all right so this is scope this is phone service and this is corporate um, book and seal. so if you want corporate book and seal, now this is going to come in your business name so you're also going to have a stamp in your business name so if you want this this is going to cost 75 dollars and if you don't want that all you simply need to do just click on no thanks and continue so once you've done that all you simply need to do is just click on submit as you can see here it says thank you for verifying the information provided your expected filing date is 25th of october and if you see the current date is um, 15th of october all right so this is the current date this is today's date when i'm creating um this video so it's going to take uh the 25th of october for them to file the business all right so if you're okay with that all you simply need to do is just click on submit and they're going to begin work on your business formation so i'm going to click on submit so you can start my business formation so once we sort the business formation as you can so the next thing we want to sort is the ei head so what you want to do is just click on this so when you click on it you'll be able to fill the form so they can also start processing your ei head on your behalf so what you want to do here is you want to come over here then um, click on responsible party so i'm going to click on this then i'm going to click on the name here so it's going to auto populate your name here so the next thing you want to come over here is the company principal address so like i said earlier if you are using northwest um, registered agent you can use their address as your business address when um, creating your business in the us so what you want to do here is you want to copy the northwest um, business address then use it as your um, company address so uh, let me quickly um, copy the address and paste it here so we can um, proceed all right so i've just entered the company principal address so the next thing i'm going to do is scroll down here so it says um it says you have or you expect to have any employee who will receive forms w2 in the next 12 months so if you do just take this so in my own case i'm just going to leave this on ticked so the next thing you want to do here is um, the company start date all right so um here you're going to indicate when your company is going to resume business all right so if you see here it says the date your company will start doing business so in in my own case since the ein is going to take 120 days so i'm just going to add the 120 days to the date when my business is going to commence business so in your own case you can just um choose the date um you know your business is going to start and um, your company is going to start doing business so in my own case i'm going to come over here then choose um 2024 then january 2024 all right so the next thing you want to do here is enter the numbers of member you have in your business so in my own case i have to well in your own it's likely going to be one so just enter the total number of uh, business member you have in your company so i'm going to enter to here so here is going to ask for the principal activity of your business so what is um the purpose of your business or the purpose of your company like what will you be doing what service will you be rendering in your company so here i'm just going to enter e-commerce here so after that what you want to do is enter your company mailing address so you can as well use the same address you use for your company as your company mailing address so i'm just going to come over here then copy this and use it as my company mailing address so i'll just enter the company mailing address and the last thing i'm going to do here is to click the confirm button so they can start processing the ei hand number so once you have your ei hand which is going to take around four to six weeks if you're not a u.s citizen but once you have the ei hand the next thing you want to do is to go over to stripe then create an account so for you to create an account with stripe all you simply need to do is just um, enter your email address here then enter your full name then choose the country at which your business is being formed so if your business is formed in the u.s all you simply need to do is just um, choose u.s here then after after that um, enter your password so once you've created your account they are going to send a confirmation link to your email address so click on the confirmation link and it's going to redirect you to where you're going to be able to log into your stripe account so what you want to do is log into your stripe account so from there will now begin the account creation so as you can see i've just logged into my stripe 
account and once you've logged into your stripe account as well what you want to do is you want to come over to this right hand section and uh, left hand section here then click on new account so once you click on new account it's going to prompt you to enter a name for the account so this doesn't um, necessarily mean the name of your business so this is just a name for the account inside your stripe account so one of the best thing of having a stripe account is that you can create sub account using the same ein for multiple business Take for example if you have more than one shopify website you could um, create different account in the name of the shopify website so let's say you are using a shopify website to sell dog product you could create this account in the dog um, shopify store name or if you have a digital business where you sell digital product online you could also create a sub account inside your stripe account to receive payments on that website so what you want to do here is just give it a name so here i'm just going to give this affiliate blueprint so for country of operation i'm going to leave it at the united states so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on create account so after that it's going to prompt you to activate payment on this account so what you simply want to do is click on activate payment here yeah? so after that we can now start entering our business details to set up the account so here is going to ask you your business location obviously it's in the u.s so just leave it at united states so the next one here it says type of business so what you want to do is you want to click on this drop down menu then click on company so once you click on company it's going to ask you the business structure so is this sole proprietorship is this single member llc is it multi member llc depending on the kind of one you created all you simply need to do is just choose the one that best resonates to the kind of business you set up in the us so i'm going to click on sole proprietor sole proprietorship so after that what you want to do is click on continue here so the next thing we want to do here is to enter the name of the business we registered in the us so which is the legal business name so i'm quickly going to enter my business name here so once i've entered my business name the next thing i'm going to do is to scroll down then enter my ein so this is where you're going to enter your ein all right so i'm quickly going to enter my ein here so once you enter your ein the next thing you want to do is to scroll down so you're going to see doing business so you can just leave this because this is optional so scroll down then enter your business address so i've just entered my business address so the next thing we want to do is to scroll down then select the industry at which your business is being operated so here click on this drop down menu here then search for search for the kind of business you want to use your stripe account to run so, so once you've done that the next thing you want to do is you want to enter the, your business website so this is the website you're going to be using to sell the product so here i'm just going to enter my so after that you want to come down here enter the product description so once you've done that all you simply need to do is just click on continue so the next thing we want to do here is to enter our personal details so this is where you're going to be entering your legal name your first name your last name your email address your date of birth then your home address now this is your own personal details and not your business detail so your home address is going to be the country where you are currently living in so you are forming your business in the u.s so your home address should be the current country where you are residing so here you want to uh, click on this drop down menu then change the country to where you are currently living so once you've done that you want to enter your address then you want to choose your state your zip code then for the phone number you could also change this phone number to your own personal phone number so this is for stripe this is not for the business you are forming so this is for stripe so you can click on this drop down menu here then select your country choose your country code here then enter your phone number so as you can see here we have a um, last four digit so it says enter the last four digits of social security number now when you're not a u.s citizen obviously you're not going to have a social security number so what you want to do here is click on this provide a government issue id number instead so what you want to do is click on it so when you click on it it's going to bring out this option here so what you want to do is you want to click on this um, drop down menu here then change your country from us so you're going to change your home country so from here you can see the list of countries so here choose your own country then enter your own id number so here i'm going to choose mine to my current country here then i'm going to enter my own national identity number here so for the phone number also i'm going to change it to my country 
then enter my phone number here so once you've done all of this all you simply need to do is just click on continue so we can proceed so the next thing here is your fulfillment details so this is how your customer is going to gain access to the products they are buying on your website so it says on average how long after paying will your customer typically receive their goods or services so if you are selling digital product is obviously going to be within one day and if you are selling physical products this is going to take longer so if you want to use stripe for drop shipping so what you want to do is you want to click within two weeks yeah and if you want to use it for digital product all you want to do is click within one day so once you've chosen the one that best resonates to what you want to use your stripe account to do the next thing you want to do is click on continue here so after that they are going to ask you to enter your public details for your customer so this is what your customer is going to see when they are checking out on your website so here it says um, statement descriptor so this is what is going to appear on um, the debit message your customer is going to see when they purchase any product on your website so this could be a short form of the product you are selling so this is just to let them know that this is from your website when they receive the debit message from their card so the next thing here is the customer support number so here you could actually enter your us phone number here then after that um, your us business address is going to be the customer support address so once once you are okay with this all you simply need to do is just click on continue after that the next thing we want to do here is to enter our bank accounts where we're going to be receiving the money from our stripe account so whenever you have a payment in your stripe account now this bank account is where you're going to be withdrawing the money from your stripe accounts to your us bank account now if you don't have a us bank account i'm going to add a link to peonia at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video um, click on the peonia link there then use it to set up an account for yourself so once you'll be able to create your peonia account you're going to gain access to a us bank account that you can use to receive money internationally so what you want to do here is enter your peonia us bank account so to do this what you have to do is you want to scroll down here then click on enter bank details manually so i'm going to click on enter bank details manually then here is going to ask for your routing number it's going to ask for your account number then confirm the account number so once you've entered that all you simply need to do is click save here so i'm quickly going to enter mine so we can proceed so as you can see i've just entered my routing number my account number i've come then also confirm the account number here so all i have to do here is just click on save so after that what you want to do is you want to click continue here so i'm going to click on continue so we can proceed so here is going to prompt you to keep your account secure so here you can add an authenticator app here so if this is the first time you're creating your stripe account you're going to see the option to add an authenticator app so all you simply have to do is just make sure you add an authenticator app to your stripe account so whenever you want to log in you're going to be using the code from the authenticator app to log into your stripe account so i've done mine already this is why we have it here already so once you've done that the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here and click on continue so here you're going to scroll down then click on um, skip for now so here you could also click on no thanks so after that they are going to ask you to review and finish up so here you're going to look at the details of your business if everything is okay all you have to do is just scroll down then click on agree and submit so i'm going to click on agree and submit here so once you click on agree and submit the next thing they are going to do is they are going to prompt you to add or verify your account so for you to verify your account you have to upload your own um, national id or your driver's license or your passport in order for your account to be able to start working smoothly so what you want to do here is you want to click on add information here or click on view details Details. so just click on add information so it's going to redirect you to where you're going to be able to verify your account so when you scroll down here you're going to see that your business details is up to date but your own personal detail you need to verify it so here what you want to do is you want to click on updates if you want to take a picture with your phone you can um, choose this and if you want to take a picture with your webcam and if you have the picture already on your laptop all you simply need to do is click on upload a file here so i'm going to click on upload a file then i'm going to click on next so here is going to prompt you to choose what you want to use to verify your account so if it's going to be your driver's license if it's going to be your passport if it's going to be your id card 
all you simply need to do is just choose either of the three so i'm going to click on java's line sense and i'm going to click on next so click accept and continue so this is my java's line sense so i'm going to click on open then i'm going to click on looks good here so here they ask me to upload the back of my java slide sense so i'm going to click on choose file again and i'm going to choose the back of my java slide sense so i'm going to click on open so once it's clear all you simply need to do is click on continue all right so as you can see it says you all set so thanks for providing your required information to continue with stripe we might later reach out to collect additional details from you all right so this is basically how you can set up your stripe account so the first thing you want to do is make sure you register your company in the us then request for ein hand and once you have your ein hand use your ein hand to create your stripe account and like i said earlier i'm going to add a link at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video click the link there you can